A mother's attempt to engage her children in outdoor play turned into a traumatic experience when her four-year-old son, Harley, sustained severe head injuries at a nearby play park. Olivia Saxton had taken Harley and his three-year-old sister, Addie, to the play park on March 14 to encourage them to spend less time on their electronic devices. As Harley played on a wooden rope bridge, Olivia assisted Addie with the swing. Moments later, she heard Harley crying and found him lying on the ground, holding his head. Despite her attempts to help him up, Harley collapsed and began foaming at the mouth. Olivia performed CPR for 15 minutes until paramedics arrived. Harley was sedated and rushed to the hospital, where a court scan revealed two small brain bleeds. Despite the park's designation for young children, Olivia believes the equipment was unsuitable for Harley's age group. The park underwent a safety inspection by the Royal Society for the Prevention of Accidents, but Olivia questions its adequacy. After two days of sedation, Harley was transferred to the intensive care unit, where an ICP bolt was inserted into his head to relieve brain pressure. He spent nine more days in the hospital before being discharged on March 26. An Emory scan confirmed that Harley had suffered brain damage, and he will require further A mother's attempt to engage her children in outdoor play turned into a traumatic experience when her four-year-old son, Harley, sustained severe head injuries at a nearby play park.